I wanted to fly the F-15C. I mean, that was goal one. When I was in the training to be in the F-15, in, um, it's called the B course, the basic course. I had gone 46 flights. You know, there's 51 in the program. My injury happened after my 46th flight, so I had five more flights to become, you know, an F-15 pilot. It's like, you know, scaling Mount Everest and you get five steps from what's considered to be the summit and get blown off by the wind. It was after a night flight, like my head just excruciating, like the worst headache you've ever had, except it was only on the left side and that happened right after I landed. They didn't think I was gonna live through it. I was in and out of consciousness. I had to relearn how to speak and I had a lot of uh, aphasia. So everything comes crashing down. You know, I basically lost my plane first and then I lost my career second. When I decided to um, go back to school and find direction, I was starting to come out of my own little depressive stupor. I was talking to my grandfather and he goes, just finish what Gene started. I had a twin brother. My brother decided he was gonna be a doctor right off the bat. I graduated and was waiting to be commissioned in the Air Force. And he had finished his uh, first year of medical school exams. I took him out and uh, on the way home, we were hit by a drunk driver. I had the opportunity to achieve my goal. I flew an F-15. You know, I can't go defend the nation anymore, really. So how can I help the guys coming back? I stumbled upon becoming a Tillman military scholar. When that opportunity came, it was more like a community of guys that have been through a lot of stuff like I've been through. You just realize you're not the only one. Marie Tillman says the call to serve, you know what I mean? It's in everybody that's in that room, everybody that even applies to be a Tillman scholar. I think that was finally when I started to feel like I was gaining myself back again, when I found that drive, that, that want to, how can I provide for my family, help my fellow veterans and be a positive force in the community? How can I do that? To be able to turn my life back around, and utilize an education that they're gonna help provide me. It allows me to shrug off the injuries that, that took me out of the plane and, and get back to answer that call to serve, to, to be able to say, let me help you. I wanna be that guy, you know what I mean? I wanna be my brother for him.